Hi there. Well, friend, I'm opening up today because it's important to me that you feel safe in sharing the parts of you that you might have been keeping in the dark. I can help you shine a light on the very things that are holding you back, but only if you let me. I know you'll only let me if I can show you that I understand what it's like to feel overwhelmed, misunderstood, lost, frustrated, and just a whole lot of self-doubt. So today, I thought I would open up and share with you one of the many things <laughs> I learned when I hit my own personal rock bottom just a few years ago. And it might surprise you what I'm going to share. Rock bottom, it wasn't the worst of it. I think if I'm really honest, I actually liked it there for a while. Remember the story of Alice in Wonderland? Well, homegirl should never have looked down that damn rabbit hole. Had she just stayed up there in the cozy comfort of life as she knew, she would never have had to endure the chaos and confusion of Wonderland. But come on, what is a girl to do? When every fiber of your being is telling you that there is more to life than what you are experiencing, you feel a constant pull, a tugging, a restlessness within you that won't let you feel present, grateful or content with the world around you, no matter how you try. If you dare to look down that rabbit hole, you need to know one thing. Once you realize there is a different way of living, of being, of experiencing the world, there is no turning back. You won't be able to walk away unchanged. Some of us, most of us, live the rest of our lives suppressing that knowing, the awareness of more. And we distract ourselves with the busyness of everyday life and materialism and just Find ways to live vicariously through strangers on reality TV. But for some of us, we can't go on in denial. And we can't help but to throw ourselves down that damn rabbit hole. We unburden ourselves from everything we know and we take a chance on a new perspective. And from the outside, it looks irresponsible and reckless because we abandon societal norms and turn our back on the notion of the things that we should do. We run and we dive down the rabbit hole into the unknown and it's exciting and it's invigorating. And while we rush away from everything that we know, it feels great at first, but then, then inevitably we hit the bottom, rock bottom. When you decide to live life in a different way or make drastic change or just do things in a way that is different from everybody that you know or maybe the way you've been raised or what you had believed, we look around once we have done that at the enormity of what we have done and there's this moment where it hits us. When you make a decision that changes the course of your life and the future that you had visualised no longer exists, it's no longer a possibility, it takes your breath away and not in a good way. You stop breathing and you begin to panic and you look around and you think, where am I? Who am I? What have I done? And what the hell do I do now? You're at rock bottom, friend. And if I'm really honest, it's a place that I actually found the relief I was looking for at that time. After more than a decade of relentlessly filling every moment of my day with productivity, trying to keep myself busy and distracted, I finally stopped. For so long, I had believed that the harder I worked, the more I endured, the more I suffered, the more success I deserved. That's what we're told, right? Success comes at a price. And usually that price is our well-being. Arriving at rock bottom, what it did was it gave me permission to just stop spinning wheels and stay very still for a while. So at rock bottom, I wrapped myself up in excuses and got very cozy down there. 
At the time, I was a 29-year-old that was about to get divorced and lose the life I had known. Let the pity party begin. And man, what a party it was. A cocktail of binge eating, excessive exercise, prescription drugs, which were self-prescribed, of course, because at rock bottom, it meant I couldn't be bothered to seek actual medical support. And just a whole lot of isolation and introversion. I actually liked it. It got me off the hook from having to show up in the world. I wasn't letting anyone down. I was at rock bottom. No one could expect anything from me, right? Give me a break. Don't you know what I'm going through? I'm at rock bottom. I wish I could say, though, that there was a moment where the clouds parted and the sunshine came through and I was inspired to rise up and begin living my life like it mattered again. And that, that honestly never happened. What I realized was that because I was at rock bottom, the expectations that I had carried for so long had somehow just disappeared. I was unburdened. And because of that, I was free to rebuild myself from the ground up. Yes, I had lost everything, but it had given me the space to create anything I wanted. And so I began. I was determined to become an architect of change. I would consciously rebuild myself, my world and my life. And that power of choice, realizing the choice that I had to do that, it was liberating. The thing is, we don't have to get to rock bottom for that. We always have a choice. And too often we just forget that. At any given moment, we have the choice to choose a different outcome and then just get to work to make that happen. Over the next few years, I pulled myself out of rock bottom. And I'm not going to lie, it took every fiber of my being. But I found ways to be fiercely brave. Why? Well, I had been to rock bottom. I had lived there. So to be honest, I had nothing more to fear. The worst had happened and I could only rise. In the years that followed, a lot of things changed for me. I told my best friend that I loved him. He's now my husband. <laughs> I invested in myself and I opened the business I had been dreaming of for years, but had never given myself the space and grace to create. I bought a house in my name by myself. I made investments in the businesses that I believed in. And beyond that, I fell pregnant. And I birthed a beautiful baby boy. I traveled to beautiful places and ate delicious foods. And I lay in the sun and I took time to just breathe and enjoy the beautiful thing that is this one life that I have been gifted. Now, today, here in this moment, I still have to continue to work on myself. To give to myself daily so that I'm fulfilled, content and self-aware. I take it very seriously. It is my responsibility to continue to live a life that satisfies me so that I'm not drawn to rabbit holes again. I can't imagine ever throwing myself down a rabbit hole again, but a decade ago, I probably would have said the same thing. I could never have imagined the future that was ahead of me. Remaining present, that's actually harder than rock bottom. We are in a world that pulls us in a million different directions at once. So there is one choice I make daily to pull myself up, to rise, to stay as far away from rock bottom as I can. We always have a choice. We do. So friend, today I'm asking you, in which direction are you headed? What are you choosing? I'm in the gym a lot. I own a gym with my husband and I really am one of those people that enjoys exercise. <laughs> Every time I pull, perform a pull up, yeah, where you hold onto a bar and you hang there and you literally physically pull your body up, I'm forced to reflect on the choices I make. My body has to be physically strong. 
if I'm going to be able to do the pull-up. And that simply reflects the choices I make around exercise, sleep, nutrition, time management. My mind has to be strong in order to perform that movement because it reflects how aligned I am to my values and how consciously I'm editing my thought patterns. And when body and mind come together, my pull-ups are easy. I rise. But when I'm unbalanced in any way, I can't pull myself up. And so I'm giving you this example, not because I want you to learn how to do pull-ups, but I want you to be reminded that we always need to keep body and mind and spirit aligned and moving in a direction that is aligned to our purpose and our passion and the vision we have of our higher self before we start sinking towards rock bottom. Every day we have to treat ourselves and set up systems and strategies in a way that allows us to be supported in rising. The choices that we make daily absolutely matter. Our life is simply a reflection of the choices that we make. And friend, the most beautiful thing to remember is we always have a choice. If you're having a hard time making choices for yourself that you feel are in your best interest or are aligning you to the highest version of yourself or are moving you towards a life that fulfills your deep driving desires, friend, I would love to walk beside you and help you navigate the learning curve that is making the most powerful choices that you could make for yourself to create a life that not only satisfies you, but fulfills fills you and fulfills your deepest driving desires that is possible it is and you can start that at any time it is never too late I cannot wait to speak with you again I cannot wait to walk by your side I cannot wait to navigate this journey with you because you don't have to do it alone <laughs>